Hello everyone, in this video, we'll talk about RGB LED. So RGB LED must be done after you follow our previous video because we'll be using the code from previous video as well as the circuits. So if you haven't did so, please do it before you coming into this video. So now, once you have done exercise 2.1, it will be over here. Now we need to copy this exercise and make it into exercise 2.2. To do that, you go to this exercise, point at it, okay? This thing will show up, tinker this and this cock symbol, okay? It's the option. So you click on the option and then press duplicate, okay? That's how you duplicate the exercise in if you are using computer. Now, if you are on your mobile phone, you can scroll down to where your design is. For example, this exercise 2.1, you hold, okay, after this thing show up, you just press on the side and then you can see that there's a cock symbol, you click on the cock symbol and then click duplicate over here, okay, that's how you do it in your mobile phone. After you have done copying, you will be entering this exercise that you have done previously, but the name will be a copy of exercise 2.1. So let's change that to exercise 2.2. Okay. Now, once it's changed to exercise 2.2, we can continue. This video will be slightly shorter than the last one because we already done the code if you are copying it. If you, you can double check that your code is still here. Okay. Now, what we need to do now is to connect the three, which is two, three, and four, to our RGB LED instead. So the very first thing you need to do is to delete the three LED, okay? You can press the button on the top left corner to delete them. And then you need to go down and look for something called LED RGB. If you couldn't find it, you can use a search function and press LED and then they will show up, okay? This is the LED that we wanted to use. And because the leg is actually a bit shorter than the LED, so we need to modify these circuits a little bit. So we first put it on the top bit, okay? When you point at this leg, it will tell you what it is. R, which is red, okay this one cathode is the negative leg and then blue which which is the b and then g which is the green part okay we want to connect this three number to the g b and r okay but the negative need to be ground first so we drag the negative bit to the ground directly then we can delete this wire you can use the delete button on your keyboard. The other one we will deal with it later. Okay, you can keep it for now. The next thing is that we need to connect this three resistor into the three leg as well. So we click on one of them and then rotate it and then put it up. We can connect it like this. Remember the top bit and the bottom bit is not connect so you can actually connect your resistor using this way okay swap all three now until here you will notice that this two three and four is not is no longer connected to our resistor so we can actually delete them as well then last we need to connect the number two three four back into our RGB LED okay since we use 234 so we'll start with number 4 and connect it here okay I remember that this one is red so I change this wire to red then the second one to this place okay this one is blue and then number 2 is the green color now if you just press start simulation then you will notice that it will show up with three different co base color first and then it will continue to change until you see a total of seven color okay 
That's the total of 8 combination, but why is there only 7 color? That's because one of it, which is all 3 are low, is actually didn't light up, which actually stand for black. Okay, so there's a total of 8 different color if you include the black. What is this RGB LED and why is it important though? If you notice, our TV screen, computer, laptop, or even mobile phone screen Nowadays, a mainly LED display. The theory is actually just like RGB LED. Those displays contain millions of red, green, and blue LED that combine to form the display that you see. The colors are actually produced using combination of these three, just like what we have seen in our exercise. Later, when we learn how to restrict the flow of electricity to our RGB LED, you can technically use it to produce any color that you like, which is exactly what those LED display is doing. In conclusion, we can use RGB LED to produce a total of 7 colors and an additional one if you count off as black. This is how our devices, TV, computer screen, etc. used to display anything to us. That's all for today. Thank you.